Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to be talking about what all of the pedals on the piano actually do. A lot of people know what one of the pedals does or two of the pedals do, but there is lots of misconceptions about what the pedals do and why they're used. So in this video, we're going to break that down. The first pedal that we'll talk about is the one that most pianists of all levels know about, and that is the one on the right hand side, which is called the sustain pedal. What this essentially does is it makes the notes that you have just played keep ringing even when your fingers aren't playing the keys anymore. So I'll give you an example of this. If I was to play a chord without using the sustain pedal, then you'll hear this when I let go. Nothing. But if I was to then put the sustain pedal down and let go of the chord, you hear all of those notes continue to ring out as long as my foot stays down. This enables you to do a lot of interesting things. So one example of this is if I want to build up a sound and make something sound really thick textured, then I can play a chord in lots of different places of the piano. I can then use the sustain pedal to make sure that all of these notes then continue to ring like this. This is just one way that the sustain pedal can be used. It can also help you join up chords when your fingers can't reach and various things like that. There is also lots of piano music that has pedal marking written in and this refers to the sustain pedal so you can follow those. The second pedal is the one that's on the left hand side and this is called the una corda. How this pedal works differs slightly on whether you are playing on a grand piano or an upright piano but the effect is essentially the same. So normally when you play a key on the piano you are hearing three strings at the same time. If I play any note on the piano a hammer is hitting three strings that sound exactly the same and this creates the texture of the note that we hear. On a grand piano when you press the left pedal it moves the entire keyboard slightly so it's only hitting two out of those three strings. And what this does is it creates a slightly thinner texture on the notes. So I will try and give you an example of this, see if you can hear. So if I try and play something very quietly without the left pedal, then you'll see that it sounds like this. If I then press the left pedal and try and play quietly, it moves the entire keyboard slightly to the right. And it creates a slightly thinner texture and enables me to just get a little bit quieter. This is used a lot in piano music to try and unlock that next level of quietness or to try and create a particularly thin effect. However, on an upright piano, how this is achieved is slightly different. On a grand piano, because the strings are laid out flat, the action can move and all of the hammers can move with it. On an upright piano, this isn't possible because all of the strings are stacked upwards. So the way that this slightly thinner texture is achieved is by the piano moving the hammers closer to the string slightly. And this means that the distance that the hammer has to travel to the string is less and therefore the sound is slightly quieter. It isn't the same as on a grand piano and you can hear the difference in how the texture thins out. However, the effect is essentially the same. The last pedal that we've got to talk about is the middle pedal. And on some pianos, this doesn't actually exist and there's a reason for that which I'll come to. So the middle pedal can actually be one of two things and on grand pianos and digital pianos this is usually universally the same and that is a sostenuto pedal. What this does is it has half the effect of the sustain pedal and what I mean by this is that it will sustain any notes that you have down when you press the pedal but even if the pedal is still down any notes that you then play after that it won't hold. So I will try and show you how this works. So if I play a chord on the piano this chord is now down, so if I press the middle pedal, that will then sustain that chord. However, if I now play any other notes on the piano, it won't sustain those notes with the chord that's already sustained. This is only used in very particular circumstances where you're wanting to create a detached effect while also holding some chords lower down. An example of this might be if you wanted to play a chord low down like this and then play a melody at the top. that was particularly detached, then you can do that using that pedal. Once again, the middle pedal on upright pianos is different, and for the most part, this pedal doesn't exist on upright pianos. If you have three pedals on an upright piano, the middle pedal is usually something called a practice pedal. And what this is, is it's a pedal that you can put down and move to the left usually so that it locks down. And this puts a sheet of felt in front of the hammers, which muffles the sound slightly and makes it a lot quieter. 
The reason for this pedal is so that you don't annoy your neighbours. It's as simple as that really. And this is why on some pianos you don't have all three pedals, because the sostenuto pedal isn't available on all pianos, so a lot of music doesn't include it. And the practice pedal is sort of an optional thing for the comfort of neighbours and people around you. If you didn't know what some of these pedals were, then let me know in the comments, because I'm interested to see which pedals people know and don't know. And if you want to book a lesson with me, you can do that using the link in the description. And before you go on to this video, be sure to hit the like and subscribe and I will see you next time.